Hey guys, Jake from the Australian Reptile Park here. We've had some really warm weather, as well as a little bit of rain over the past few weeks, which means funnelweb spiders are on the move. Now we've had some fantastic male funnelwebs donated to us here at the park, but not nearly as many as we require. We need many more. So in this video, we're gonna teach you how to stay safe this funnelweb spider season and how to safely capture a funnelweb spider. As you can see, Ambrose behind me here, he's working very, very hard to get through all these male funnelweb spiders. He's milking them at the moment. We've got a few here, but we need many, many more. We need as many as we can possibly receive here at the Australian Reptile Park. These summer weather conditions we're experiencing at the moment are the perfect time to come across a funnelweb spider. During this time of year, the male funnelwebs will leave their burrow and start to head out in search of a female. Now in the process, they may venture inside your house. So it's really important if you're leaving clothing on the floor, maybe even your shoes, if you're leaving them outside overnight, really important to check those because you never know where a male funnelweb may be seeking refuge. So let's jump outside and I am going to safely demonstrate how to capture a funnelweb spider. Now in order to actually catch the spider, what you will need is a large jar like this one here. Now today we've got this female Sydney funnelweb spider reared up in front of me. If the spider is stationary, not moving, what you can do is pop your jar next to the spider, keeping your fingers at a safe distance of course, and then you can use a large spoon or maybe even a 30 centimetre ruler to gently encourage the spider into the jar, just like that, very easy. Now, if your funnelweb spider is moving, it's a bit of a different story. What you wanna do is take your jar and very simply pop it in front of the spider like that and it will walk straight into it. Now that you've safely captured your funnelweb spider and it's contained in the jar, what you wanna do is take a little bit of damp soil from the garden or perhaps even a damp ball of cotton wool and pop it in the jar with the spider. This will provide your funnelweb with a little bit of moisture inside the jar and will keep it nice and happy and healthy until you can either get it to one of our drop-off points, we have them as far south as the Sutherland Shire and as far north as Newcastle, or of course you can drop your spider directly to us here at the Australian Reptile Park. Once your spider's in the jar with a bit of moisture, of course, pop the lid on to finish off. Since the development of the funnelweb spider antivenom in the late 1970s, there has not been a single death from a Sydney funnelweb spider. It's incredibly important work we do here at the Reptile Park, but in order to continue this life-saving work year after year, we need these funnelwebs, we need them to be donated to us. So we've talked a little bit about the spiders themselves. Now I wanna quickly remind you about first aid. As Australians, it is really important that we familiarize ourselves with the first aid procedures for our venomous wildlife. For a funnel web spider, you would apply a broad pressure bandage like this one here, up the entire limb, immobilize the victim and get them off to hospital as quickly as you possibly can. That's it from me today, guys. Remember to keep catching those funnel web spiders. We have drop-off points right throughout the Sydney region. You can find them on our website. We need them. We need you to be catching them. Thank you very much, and we will see you next time at the Australian Reptile Park.